Reporting the countdown to the second coming of Jesus Christ. This is True News. This is True News. Welcome to the program. I'm Rick Wiles. I want to take time to chat with you about several things. Number one, where this ministry is going. And number two, my perception about where the world is going in the remainder of 2015 and into 2016. Okay, let's start with the topic of where this ministry is going. Our longtime partners know our history. Many of you have been listening since the first broadcast from Texas in 1999. You followed my family in this ministry throughout the years, and it's like you and I are family. We've been together for so long. For example, many of you remember my son, Jeremy, when he was our first part-time radio program producer at a time when he was 20 years old, a student in college at Tarleton State in Stephenville. It was in 1999 that my friend Pat Six in Fort Worth spoke a prophecy over Jeremy during a One of my meetings in Granbury, Texas in 1999, Pat prophesied that Jeremy would produce many Christian films for the kingdom of God. What was so interesting about that prophecy was at the time, Jeremy had no plans whatsoever to become a film producer. He was uh, going to Tarleton to get a degree in business administration. But today, Jeremy is 36 years old. He's married, father of a toddler, and the owner of a successful Christian film company in West Palm Beach. That prophecy came true. Likewise, many of you remember my daughter Carissa when she was our first office manager back in the day when our entire office consisted of two small desks in a narrow hallway that connected our kitchen to the garage of our house. When Carissa was a small child, perhaps six or seven years old, she told my wife Susan and me that God told her that someday she would be called the mother of many. Susan and I kept that tucked away in our hearts for years. And today, Carissa and her husband, Marshall, are missionaries in Cuenca, Ecuador, where they operate a child rescue ministry. She is the mother of many. Another prophecy that came true. And many of you talked on the telephone with my wife, Susan, over the years. A lot of you received handwritten notes, thank you notes from Susan for supporting True News. Many of you remember receiving an email or letter from her saying she was praying for you. In return, you prayed for Susan when she was stricken with an autoimmune disorder in late 2013. And today, Susan is feeling healthy and strong again, although she still has some stiffness and pain in her joints. But she knows it was the prayers of the True News family that carried her through the darkness, actually the darkest time of her life, when she was confined to a wheelchair for over a year. As for me, I will always remember and cherish the wonderful brethren who prayed for me and financially carried this ministry through good times and bad times. You know, I never wanted to be a minister or a pastor. I never desired to be on radio or television. In fact, I'm a very private person. I would rather be unseen and unknown. But I've been on the radio for nearly 17 years for one reason. Almighty God interrupted my life on an afternoon in April 1998 with a life-changing vision of American cities on fire. The Holy Spirit told me that day that I was being called to warn America to repent, to come back to the old paths of righteousness, where great woe and trouble would befall the nation. The Holy Spirit opened my Bible that afternoon to Isaiah 24 as the scriptural confirmation of the vision. He followed up the vision that afternoon by peering that night to my daughter, Carissa, during her sleep. Jesus said to her daughter, beginning tonight, I will speak to you about the end times through dreams and visions. And then Jesus gave her a dream. She saw our family, Susan, Jeremy, Carissa, and me, huddled together as thousands of people rotated around us, but they were all skeletons. They stretched forth long bony arms and cried in a loud voice to me, if you knew this was going to happen, why didn't you tell us? The vision and the dream rocked my world. I couldn't shake it off. The Holy Spirit revealed more to me in the spring and summer of 1998. He told me that a new financial instrument of debt called derivatives would unravel and bring down the entire world financial system. He said that there would be bank runs, panic, looting, violence in the streets. When the public realizes that everything was lost, he told me there would be a surprise military attack on the United States after the collapse. Four months later, I submitted my resignation to Dr. Paul Crouch as director of marketing of TBN. 
I walked out the door in early September 1998. I put my hand to the plow and never looked back. I walked away from a very successful career in the national cable television industry. I gave up 17 years of my peak earning years. The vision and the warning from God have consumed me ever since. I knew I would stand before my maker someday and have to give an account of what I did with that warning and a message of repentance. After reading Ezekiel 33, I made a decision in 1998 that there would not be any blood on my hands on Judgment Day. For 17 years, I did the best I could do. I wasn't educated and trained to be on radio or television. I wasn't educated and trained to be a news journalist or anchor man. Likewise, I wasn't educated and trained to be a minister. Never went to Bible college or seminary. God simply placed me in a position in which I had no training, experience, or skills, and I had to rely on Him. And along the way, the Holy Spirit gathered an awesome family of brethren throughout America and Canada and, indeed, around the world who supported me through intercessory prayers and generous financial gifts. Five or six years ago, I started talking about September 2015. A lot of people have been talking about it for the past year. I said that there were numerous historical cycles colliding in 2015 to 2022, and that we would witness historic upheavals in the world order. Last June, I said the stock markets would top by the third or fourth week of July, and after that top, it would be downhill all the way. I also said last June that God showed me that fall 2015 and fall 2016 are bookends, a market panic will start this fall, deepen and accelerate into 2016 and culminate in the fall of 2016 in a devastating disaster, bringing down more than just the financial markets, but bringing down the whole system. Fall 2015, we'll see a crash in the equity markets, but fall 2016, we'll see a crash in the entire banking and financial system. So here we are, it's September 2015. And if you are still heavily invested in the stock market, if your retirement fund is still invested in the stock market, I don't know what to say to you. You're going to lose it. I'm expecting multiple market crashes between September 2015 and fall 2016. There were four market crashes in the first several years of the Great Depression. It wasn't just one big crash in October 1929. There were crashes in 1930, 31, and 32. It just got worse and worse. If you stayed in the market, you lost everything. Had you bailed out before the first big one in 29, you picked up the pieces years later, and you were able to buy stocks, businesses, houses, buildings, farms for pennies on the dollar. Look, I'm not a prophet. I'm not prophesying anything. I'm I'm a watchman, and I can only tell you what I'm personally thinking will happen. Uh, This is Rick talking. It's not the Holy Spirit. This is me talking to you. I'm not prophesying. I'm I'm simply sharing with you my personal perspective on what I think is coming, what I'm preparing for, and how you and I can get through it. I'm bracing for a 30 to 40% crash in the Dow Jones this fall. One-third. I believe we're going to lose one-third. One-third from the top of June or July of 2015. There will be illusionary rallies over the coming months going into 2016, but It's not coming back, not in our lifetime. The establishment propaganda machine will tell the public everything is okay. We're going to recover. It's going to come back. We need to elect a new president, yada, yada, yada. And the people will believe it. They'll hold out for false hope. Another substantial crash will strike again in the spring or summer of 2016. Once again, the people will hold out for false hope. If we can just get to the fall and elect a new president, get a new Congress, Get a new group of politicians in office. We're going to make it. We're Americans. We're going to hold together. We're going to come back. That's what we're going to be told. This is what the public's going to believe. Your neighbors, your relatives, your family members, your fellow church members, this is what they're going to say to you. They're going to say this in the fall of 2015. They're going to say it in the spring of 2016 after a second crash. They're going to say, you're wrong. It's going to come back. But there's going to be another crash in the fall of 2016, and that's going to be the death blow. The market won't get off the mat. The referee will count to 10. It's over. And that's when the public will panic. Not until they finally realize that everything is an illusion. They've been lied to and everything has been taken away. That's when there will be panic in the streets. That's 
when the world will realize the entire globe has gone bankrupt. And I believe that all the dreams and visions we've been talking about on this program for years, whether it's T.D. Hale's dreams and visions or Mina Lee Gribben's dreams and visions and Dr. Daniel Dave's, I I could go down a list of the guests that I've had on this program over the years, including the vision the Lord gave me in 1998. I believe all of these visions are pointing to the fall of 2016. That's when you're going to see the fires in the streets. We're talking about David Wilkerson's vision of 1973, a thousand fires. That's where we're headed. I believe it's the fall of 2016. That's when the panic comes. That's when people realize it's over. It's not coming back. It's been a big lie. They've lied to us and we've lost everything. We've lost our homes. We've lost our savings. We've lost everything. That's when panic strikes. The people aren't going to wake up until they lose everything. That's what I'm preparing for, and that's what I'm bracing for. And this ministry is making a change. We're making direction correction as God now takes us from being a watchman warning, and we now switch into the role of being a ministry that feeds and strengthens and nourishes the saints of God through a time of great trial and trouble in the world. And I can just tell you the Lord is blessing this ministry. We are changing so quickly. You don't see it. You're only hearing this program, but you're not seeing the changes that are taking place here inside this ministry. If you had a time-lapse camera view of this ministry in the past six months, it's amazing what's happened. We're a completely different ministry. But the Lord is getting ready to bring us forth to the public in a new a new phase, a new form. And one of those things that's coming up very soon is that we're going to be going on Sirius XM satellite channel 131 starting on uh, September 14 and 15. That week will be heard on Sirius XM satellite channel 131. Listen, I got to go. I got to take a break. You're listening to True News. I'll be back in a minute. Reporting the countdown to the second coming of Jesus Christ. This is True News. Welcome back to True News, the end time newscast. This is Heaven's News Network. We're covering the biggest news story of the ages. I'm talking about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Signs of his coming are everywhere. My vision for this ministry is that someday we have news teams that will travel the world reporting on the acts of the Holy Spirit in many nations. Holy Spirit is busy. And I think he's doing things even greater than was recorded in the book of Acts. I think the book of Acts part two is underway right now. We want to cover those stories. I mean, if you if you worked at a news organization, uh, you were a reporter, you would you would want to be assigned to the biggest news story. And that's how we see this. The second coming of Jesus Christ. That is the biggest news story of all time. And I invite you to become a partner with this vital international ministry in the last days. Yes, many frightening things are happening around the world, but at the same time, many exciting things are happening. So let's keep our eyes on the prize. And that is the return of the Lord Jesus Christ and new Jerusalem. The Lord will get us through the days ahead. My trust and faith is in him. We have work to do. He said, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the nations as a witness, and then the end shall come. So if we want Jesus to return, we got to get busy, and the gospel of the kingdom must be preached in all nations as a witness. I would be honored to have you as a partner who prays for us and contributes finances to us to help finance this ministry. You can go to True News, T-R-U-N-E-W-S, truenews.com, and click Donate. If you use PayPal, enter the payee address as support at truenews.com. And checks, money orders, and precious metals may be mailed to Post Office Box 690069. That's P.O. Box 690069 in Vero Beach, Florida. The zip code is 32969. Times. You know, I never wanted to be a minister or a pastor. I never desired to be on radio or television. In fact, 
I'm a very private person. I would rather be unseen and unknown. But I've been on the radio for nearly 17 years for one reason. Almighty God interrupted my life on an afternoon in April 1998 with a life-changing vision of American cities on fire. The Holy Spirit told me that day that I was being called to warn America to repent, to come back to the old paths of righteousness, or great woe and trouble would befall the nation. The Holy Spirit opened my Bible that afternoon to Isaiah 24 as the scriptural confirmation of the vision. He followed up the vision that afternoon by peering that night to my daughter, Carissa, during her sleep. Jesus said to her daughter, beginning tonight, I will speak to you about the end times through dreams and visions. And then Jesus gave her a dream. She saw our family, Susan, Jeremy, Carissa, and me, huddled together as thousands of people rotated around us, but they were all skeletons. They stretched forth long bony arms and cried in a loud voice to me, if you knew this was going to happen, why didn't you tell us? The vision and the dream rocked my world. I couldn't shake it off. The Holy Spirit revealed more to me in the spring and summer of 1998. He told me that a new financial instrument of debt called derivatives would unravel and bring down the entire world financial system. He said, it's News Network. We're covering the biggest news story of the ages. I'm talking about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Signs of his coming are everywhere. My vision for this ministry is that someday we have news teams that will travel the world reporting on the acts of the Holy Spirit in many nations. Holy Spirit is busy, and I think he's doing things even greater than was recorded in the book of Acts. I think the book of Acts part two is underway right now. We want to cover those stories. I mean, if you you worked at a news organization uh, you were a reporter. You would you would want to be assigned to the biggest news story. And that's how we see this. The second coming of Jesus Christ. That is the biggest news story of all time. And I invite you to become a partner with this vital international ministry in the last days. Yes, many frightening things are happening around the world. But at the same time, many exciting things are happening. So let's keep our eyes on the prize, and that is the return of the Lord Jesus Christ and new Jerusalem. The Lord will get us through the days ahead. My trust and faith is in him. We have work to do. He said, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the nations as a witness, and then the end shall come. So if we want you, you're listening to True News. I'll be back in a minute. Reporting the countdown to the second coming of Jesus Christ. This is True News. Well, welcome back to True News, the end time newscast. This is Heaven's News Network. We're covering the biggest news story of the ages. I'm talking about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Signs of his coming are everywhere. My vision for this ministry is that someday we have news teams that will travel the world reporting on the acts of the Holy Spirit in many nations. Holy Spirit is busy, and I think he's doing things even greater than was recorded in the book of Acts. I think the book of Acts part two is underway right now. We want to cover those stories. I mean, if you if you worked at a news organization, uh, you were a reporter, you would, you would want to be assigned to the biggest news story. And that's how we see this. The second coming of Jesus Christ, that is the biggest news story of all time. And I invite you to become a partner with this vital international ministry in the last days. Yes, many frightening things are happening around the world, but at the same time, many exciting things are happening. So let's keep our eyes on the prize. And that is the return of the Lord Jesus Christ and nerd from the top of June or July of 2015. There will be illusionary rallies over the coming months going into 2016, but it's not coming back, not in our lifetime. The establishment propaganda machine will tell the public everything is okay, we're going to recover, it's going to come back, we need to elect a new president, yada, yada, yada. And the people will believe it. They'll hold out for false hope. Another substantial crash will strike again in the spring or summer of 2016. Once again, 
The people will hold out for false hope. If we can just get to the fall and elect a new president, get a new Congress, get a new group of politicians in office, we're going to make it. We're Americans. We're going to hold together. We're going to come back. That's what we're going to be told. This is what the public's going to believe. Your neighbors, your relatives, your family members, your fellow church members, this is what they're going to say to you. They're going to say this in the fall of 2015. They're going to say it in the spring of 2016 after a second crash. They're going to say, you're wrong. It's going to come back. But there's going to be another crash in the fall of 2016, and that's going to be the death blow. The market won't get off the mat. The referee will count to 10. It's over. And that's when the public will panic. Not until they finally realize that everything is an illusion. They've been lied to and everything has been taken away. That's when there will be panic in the streets. That's when the world will realize the entire globe 